Today, you can meet people who have never used the internet or mobile. You can even find people who cannot write and read. It is rare, but a fact. At the same time, it is difficult to find someone who ever did not wear clothes or shoes Adidas, and especially those who have never heard of this brand. It will not surprise anyone. German brand today is one of leaders among sports clothing brands. The company is engaged in the production of clothing shoes and accessories not only for sports, but also for everyday life. Today, Adidas owns such companies Reebok, Rockport, CCM, Taylor, Made Golf, who came up with the company, how it started, and how it could become one of the most recognizable brands all over the world. Officially, the company Adidas was established in 1949, but the history began long before. Edward Dassler was born into a poor family on the 3rd of November in 1900 in a small town of Bavaria. His father was a cobbler and his mother was a wishwoman. Since there were no great prospects, when Adolf from a young age helped his father and soon he became a cobbler himself. The family was very poor. Money was barely enough to make ends meet. In 1920, the family decided to organize their own business, tailoring shoes. Adolf Dassler took over the shoemaking business and the management of the company. At that time, he was only 20 years old, to which soon joined his brother Rudolf. Friends called them Adi and Rudy. Small shoe factory brows Dassler, if it could, be called a factory. They were engaged in the production of orthopedic shoes for athletes and sleepers. Their mini factory was in the laundry room, where their small business grew. Slippers were in demand, but it was no small shop for the production of footwear. At that time, there were several hundred such workshops in Germany alone. Perhaps some of them are happy with what is there, but Adolf was obsessed with the development of the company, having gone through many experiments, which after ended in failure, he managed to create a product that at that time was a breakthrough in shoe business. In the 1925, Adolf created the world's first sneakers with studied so Glitz became the main production of the factory a year later. His partners were ordinary blacksmiths, Brawls Terry, who made spikes for shoes. The demand for the Brawls shoes grew daily. This led to the purchase of an own building for the factory. In the 1928, Together with Joseph Bison, Brothers Dassler development a patented a new model of study shoes, shoe model that really made the factory famous. But how to make people wear shoes properly? Yes, just give it to all the athletes. At the Olympic Games in the 1936 in Berlin, American runner Jesse Owens in the shoes Dasser win four gold medals and set five world records when the trademark Dasser appeared on the shoes for the first time to strippers. After this event, shoes company Dasser chose most of the athletes at the Olympics, all thanks to innovative solution at the time. He would have thought that it is now just to attach spades to the soul, and it will be now, and the whole world will know you. In the 1930, Russell Brothers company sales exceeded 400,000 German marks, or $100,000. In the 1938, Second Dassler factory opens, as their enterprises produced more than a thousand pairs of shoes daily. Sales grew at an extraordinary rate until World War II, but despite the fact that the two Dassler brothers were convinced members of the Nazi party, all Dassler factories were confiscated by Batch, the brothers themselves were sent to the front. At one of the factories, nationalists tried to start production, production of hand grenade launchers. However, the factory equipment was not adapted for this production. That's why Adore was brought back from the army. A year later, he started producing training shoes for German soldiers. At the end of World War II, the Bavarian town of Herzegovina, where the second factory of the Brauers was located, came to the American zone of occupation. Rudolf's order Brauer was accused of belonging to nationalist SS troops sent to prison for prisoners of war. Adolf was also a member of the Nationalist Party, but as a military indemnity he made Haki's case for delivery to the U.S. It was with that served his position and business in general. As compensation for skates, Dassler gets written off items of the U.S. Army, tents, old baseball gloves, and other things. The family business had to be raised almost from scratch. In the 1936, after the occupation, Rudolf returned to the family business. The brothers again began to produce shoes, but given the current situation in Germany in the post-war period, the lack of raw materials and problems with international markets, and to some extent, 
and isolation. They make a rubber controversial, but at the same time, they won the right decision. They started producing shoes from old military uniforms. Everything went into production. So far, example, shoe soles they made from old tires of military equipment, and employees were paid with firewood and yarn. But different world use and outlook for the future development of the company, increasingly in debt to quarrel between two brothers. Working together could not continue as before. It prompted them to divide all assets. Soon after my father died, brothers separated. Rudolf took the new factory. Adolf took the old factory. They agreed never to use the name and symbol of the family business. Adolf named his firm Addis. Rudolf Ruta. But a few months later, Addis turned into Adidas, and the Ruta turned into a Puma. So ceased to exist world famous at that time brand Tassler, and new brands Adidas and Puma appeared, which we now distinguish from thousands of our brands. And the brothers themselves kept silent for the rest of their days about the cause of their quarrel. But what's most surprising after the collapse? of the family business is that the brothers didn't talk to each other for the rest of their lives. Puma and Adidas became each other fiercest rivals. Adolf was rapidly gaining popularity with high quality and innovations helped Adidas to become one of the main sports brands on the 18th of August in the 1949 took two stripes from the Dassler emblem and drew a third patented the resulting Adidas symbol. In the 1932nd the company begins to produce and other products under the brand name Adidas. The first sample is diversity. The assortment became the production of sport bags, but shoes remained the main product. Adolf was looking for a partner to take over the clothing industry, and the owner of the textile factory, Willy Zicherechow, became such a partner for the company Adidas. The Adidas company has ordered 1,000 sports suits from the production with three stripes per sleeve. All 1,000 suits sold out in the blink of an eye, and the partners so liked each other that soon Zildenreich began to sue only for Adidas at the World Cup in the 1934 in Bern. German national football team wearing Adidas shoes for the first time became world champion. This was facilitated by another innovation from Adidas removable spikes on sneakers. Shortly after this victory, sales of Adidas boots rose from 800 pairs of shoes to 2,000 pairs a day. In the 1956, Adidas even received official permission to advertise as Olympic Games in Melbourne. Also this year, Adidas signed the first license argument with a Norwegian factory in Zurich, and soon Adidas started to produce and in France. In the 1959, Adidas entered the US market, taking advantage of the growing popularity of sports and the absence of serious competitors at that time. In the late 1970s, the company already has 24 factories in 17 countries. She sold about 200,000 pairs of shoes a day, as well as clothes, bowls, and bags. In the 1970 year, Adidas Telstar Ball becomes the official ball of the FIFA World Cup in Mexico. In the 1972nd, Adidas becomes the title sponsor Olympic Games in Munich, and the German team becomes the European champion in football. In the same year, appeared the emblem of the company to follow Adidas. Three sheets represent the company's presence of the three world continents. In the 1974, Vernon boots Adidas German footballers, second time becoming world champions. At the 76th Olympics, of Athletes equipped in Adidas won 75 gold medals, 86 silver, and 88 bronze medals. By the way, this record will not be broken until now. On September 6, in the 1970 in 77 years, Adolf left this world. The management of the company passed to his widow, Katerina. With the death of the founder in the company, begins the most severe crisis caused by and above all the emergence of serious competitors. Nike and Reebok in the 1980 year began aggressive advertising campaigns in North America. At the end of the decade, they accounted for 50% of the sneaker market in the United States. While the share of Adidas decreased to critical 3%, Adolf Dassler Hayes didn't stay long as the head of the company. In the 1984, Katarina died. In the 1987, died and Horst Dassler, son of Adolf and Katarina. He was barely keeping the businesses afloat. In the 1989, 
the main US sold the company for only 440 million Deutsche Marks to French entrepreneur Bernard Tapi, at that time the owner of the French football club Olympic Marseille. They kept only 20% of the company shares. At this time, Adidas was on the verge of disaster, and the brand quickly faded, and the championship amongst both companies already shared between Nike and Reebok by the new owner could not improve the company's position. In the 1993rd, he sold the Adidas, and a few years later, he was declared bankrupt. New buyers of the company became a group of French investors, as head of Adidas appointed Robert Louis Dreyfus. Under his leadership began the reorganization of the company, with significantly increased marketing budget began the withdrawal of production to Indonesia, China and Thailand, selling on cheap labor from the third world countries, once again made products competitive in world markets. In 1995, profit more than double compared to the 1994. In the 1990s, it was bought by the French company Salomon Sports, leading manufacturer of goods for winter sports. Up to 2005 years, the concern is called Adidas Salomon. This step allowed the company to become the second largest sport manufacturer of sports products after Nike increased sales by one and a half times. Especially in the United States, in the 1999 year, the 50th anniversary of the company, construction of a new headquarters began. The presentations were opened in Japan, Turkey, and the Netherlands. In the year 2001, the formation of its own retail network began. The first two stores of the network Adidas Originals were opened in Berlin and Tokyo. In the year 2002, in New York, the company was again gaining momentum. Brand became more popular every year. In the year 2005, Adidas sold company, Solomon Sports. With the money received from the sale of the company, in August 2005 years, Adidas buys for free hall and $8 billion, 100% of the shares of its competitor Reebok International. It was this takeover that allowed Adidas to increase its share in the company's most important U.S. sporting goods market to 20% and to get as close as possible to the market leader Nike, who controls 35%. Today, to the surprise of many Adidas concerns, there is only two own small factories, one in Germany and one in the USA. All products made to order at 219 different factories, of which 71 person are in Asia, 18 person in America, 6 person in Africa, and 5 person in Europe. By shoe production, 97 person are manufactured in Asia, including Vietnam, Indonesia, and China. In 2018 year, for 109 million pairs of shoes, Adidas were produced with 11% to the largest factories in Vietnam. Shoes account for 58% of the sales of the entire company. Products are sold under two main trademarks, Adidas and Reebok. Sales between companies ratio 90% to 10. At the end of the year 2018, the company employed 58,000 people, an average turnover of $24 billion per year, and net profit almost $2 billion annually. Adidas is the largest sponsor of sports teams of the most famous athletes worldwide. Adidas could just disappear a few times, go bankrupt, and not go down in history. Adolf Dassler, part commercial success, always second. In the first place was his unstoppable love of sports. He was a very active man in 78 years. He was still playing tennis and swimming in the pool. One of his hobbies was shoe design. He personally owns many inventions, in particular football boots with replaceable spikes. He did business until his death. The road to success was difficult and long. It was thanks to Adolf Dassler, ordinary kid cobbler from the provincial town that the world giant was born. Friends, what's your personal favorite brands or sportswear and why? Be sure to share your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel where there will be many new and interesting videos.